got a new uh, bit of kit. Uh, it's from a company called New New Niwa Niwa Niwa. Two man lift, as you can tell. Without straining my back, I'll just see if I can lift it. No, it's heavy. It is a two man lift. I can assure you. And thanks for Phil for taking the delivery of it. <laughs> and our family. Uh, two man lift as you can see there. Set that on there. Uh, get the old knife out. And we should never cut towards you so we'll start in the middle. of engineering folks. So it's a sprung thingy, what not thingy. Are you sure it's not a weapon? I don't know. If that had been over there, that would have been dangerous, wouldn't it? For dealing with highly strong actors. Yes. We got a little pamphlet there. little uh, instruction booklet how to put it together we've got it out of the box eventually this is the main shaft sprung down there tighten this up with a, a, a bolt so you can have it at any height you want in fact it'd be bigger than the ceiling so I won't put it to the full extent in here but you, you can feel it's a solid build it's a real it looks a solid build, just it is. yeah. It is very solid and heavy, heavy. It'd have to be, you know, driven from side to side rather than carried up on moors or anything like that, you know, or walk about, you know, it's got to be that. So that's your, that's your main stuff. That would stand upright, that bit. This is. A crane that goes right out of here somewhere. Putting things, could have you, it could even hang green screens from it. That, that's like the small thread adapter by the look of it, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah bits on here where you can actually have some lights on or bits of boom pole, bits of sound equipment. You could even ask, ask bits of it's just a really useful, really solid feeling. Not nothing, everything's metal. I can't think yet. All, all, all British thread as well. Usually you have American thread, thread but uh, this is a British thread, so it's screwing the right way around. This is the, the stand bit. Now, I haven't worked out yet how this opens, because that just seems to tighten up that bit. So it might be that there's a, a bolt here that we have to loosen. I don't know whether or not we have to loosen that. We'll we're learning as I go along. We need to buy some sandbags to hang over the top of there. So when when the crane leave us out there, it'll uh, stop it from falling. I'm thinking like small lights. You're not going to set up something as hefty as this. It, no. 
But you, if you're talking about um, suspending a boom pole overhead, yeah, yeah, one that's going to be fixed in put in fixed in place as opposed or, to having someone or a spotlight which are quite heavy, really. I mean, yeah. it's all right to have a uh, LED light, but I think it's going to be quite difficult without a proper heavy spotlight spotlight it, to have a spotlight that's just made of LEDs because you need something that focuses a bit more. So um, they're, they're quite heavy. Uh, you might be able to get them but they're probably bigger and have a lot more LEDs on. So what I'm going to do in the next video, uh, in the part two of this, is open, well I'll open these boxes off video I think, and uh, get rid of these boxes and we'll show you, once I've learned, <laughs> how to set these up. Okay. All right. In part two, we're going to put this together. All that, and we'll show you what it looks like.